if i will compile this code okay i see the script okay so okay just okay from now this you can say b took one list Okay, this git uh, and civil git Docker Jenkins. What I'm going to do, we have a one function that is called enumerator function. Enumerate. So, what is the meaning of enumerate? Means it will get the object one by one. So, everything is an object, right? If you are writing anything in the Python, is an object, not a value. So, we will get this one by one. Okay. Here we are showing this. Uh, You know, simply we are showing what type of this variable, which type. So it will come in the enumerator type. Again, what I am going to do, this enumerator type, I am going to convert it to the list. So list is a function, type is a input function. So let's see what the output comes. So you can see <coughs> the output is coming the enumerator type, and this list. we will not use this list type if i am not using this list function now i am going to print off this enumerator data <coughs> this enumerator data if i will do this you can see if i will compile this then what happen okay so you can see this enumerator object of something is coming okay what i have to do if you want to display this enumerator type then you have to convert into the enumerator you know list type so that's why i have used here list function okay so that's why i have used here list function so if you will use this list function then we will get, get the actual data whatever the output is coming so you can see this output Output is coming. This, <coughs> no, internally you can see this is a tuple. So all this output is coming like that. Okay. <coughs> so this is your enumerator. How to work with this? So looping over the enumerator. How to do the looping stuff with enumerator? So <coughs> we have a. We can use this loop also. So I have used here for loop. Okay. So. how this for loop is working i'll show you you can see here again i took this same list and civil git and jenkins and here i use again enumerator function but here what i have used here i have used here for loop how this for loop is working okay so this for loop is work it will go this enumerator right and this is the list i have given here so it will go whatever the count is there of list number of list it will iterate and you know internally here the for loop is completely inbuilt you can not able to see how it is working but concept is that here you can take any variable and this is your in and this is your range of this for loop will you know uh, terminate your output means here the what i have converted this list type is enumerator type okay enumerator type and i have given this inside this list so it will iterate the length of this list okay so let's execute this <coughs> so you can see uh, just i am going to iterate before i was not it iterating but if you will get iterate this you can see how this output is come So this is enumerator for loop. Okay, so how to count this? How many you know? 
this uh, uh, value is there. So <coughs> here one more function is I have used this count. Okay, so let's see the output. So when we are using this count, so it will count from. You know, let's see if you will use this count function. What is the difference between previous one? I did not use count, and here I am going to use this count. <coughs> Okay, now I am going to use this count. So you can see this is the list, and I have used this count here. And let's see, it will count. No count. It will come like one, two, three, like that. But here you can see. So you can see what is the difference between without count and count. Okay. So with count, it is coming as a tuple. Here you can see zero, comma again this one. But I want to. Count this, you know, <coughs> whatever the value budget in the list using iterator. So if I will use this count function, so you can see how this value is displayed. Like according to the number wise, it will display. And here you can see it is starting from zero. Okay. <coughs> so this is your count. How to find the largest and or smallest number in the list? So we have a function, inbuilt function in the list. We have a inbuilt function. So by using this inbuilt function, we can, you know, <coughs> find this a smallest number and minimum number, max number and minimum. So I took one list here. Just I have created this list and we have max function and we have a min function. So by using this max function and min function, we can find this, you know, maximum and minimum value so if i will run this so you can see what the value will come so maximum is 40 and minimum is 5 so how to find this maximum and minimum the value in the list so by using the max function and min function okay so this is the other function from this is so that's why i have completed this so what is the del function so we have a del function so it is used to delete the entire list of zip completely from the memory. What happens when we are using the tell function? It will, you know, delete all the, you know, list completely. It will delete. So we can use tell function to this. So what is the meaning of this? When I'm going to use this tell function, so just I'm going to. Del function means it will complete, it will completely delete this. Okay, so this time this. So this is the list, and now, okay, now I am going to simply print it off LST. Okay, now, so what happened? <coughs> Just I am commenting this. Now I am going to execute this. So it will delete completely. So if I will run this, so it is deleted. But if you will try to again, if you try to, uh, if you will try to print this LSD deleted or not, you can see what happens. If I will do this, so you can see a name error is coming. When the name error is coming when the thing is not available which is you are displaying and you are using this so list is here completely deleted so that's why it is showing the name error okay <coughs> so this is the another first type of list so same thing you know by using cell function you can access you can delete only one <coughs> object by using tell function you can also delete only one object which is available in the list so how to do that so we have a list and del of list of one i'm going to delete and now i'm going to print of this okay now i'm going to print of this lst so if i will what what the value will come here i have deleted this is the list and i have deleted del of list zero one so a is deleted 
so here a so i want to delete a specific object so we can do okay we can do no problem so you can see here here a is not available a is deleted okay how this del function is there so list is mutable So when you are using, <coughs> when you are using any variable here, so what happens? Whenever we are using any variable a equal to ten, okay. Now print of a, okay. So print of a it is printing ten. A equal to twenty. Then what happens? Print of Okay, leave it. So if print of a, okay, now a equal to print print of id of a. You can see what is the value is coming now. Now I am using a equal to thirty. Okay, so now I am going to print of print of a equal to thirty. Now if I will use this print of id equal to Uh, id equal to a so you can see the values coming you can see when you are to equal to uh, 20 when you are using a equal to 20 then id is the different again i am going to store a equal to 30 again you can see this id is different this behavior is called immutability right i have already discussed this so what is happening here <coughs> <coughs> sorry what is happening here when we are using simply a equal to 10 okay a equal to 20 okay a equal to 30 this is called immutability nature what is the meaning of immutability Every object is created. Okay. Every when you are trying to change value, then one new object. Okay. When you are trying to change value, one new object is created. But if you are using in the existing object only, then that that object is not you know created in the another. When you are using storing same value. when you are storing same value okay in this a then what happen here i am using only 10 here i am using only 10 okay so it is a storing like that so in one object only existing only one object is created here okay but if you are changing this value then when you are trying to change this one new object is created one new object is created so that's why every id is every id is different okay so this behavior is called immutable immutable means you cannot change the existing object if you are trying to change this existing object new existing value new object will be created But list is mutable. <coughs> What is the meaning of mutable? We can change in the existing object. If you are trying to change any value, then only existing object will be used. So this behavior is called mutable. Mutable means we can change this value, but object won't be created. Existing object will be used. So list is mutable object that means we can modify the existing list in the same location okay if we perform any operation on the existing list then interpreter will not create a new object for every modification in a state of it will perform the same location so what is the meaning of this so we like to put in the cell so what is the meaning of this mutable so this is called immutable 
so i took one list okay this is the list i took we can change this value in existing object if you will try to modify any value then what happen only existing object you means the operation will happen when it want we create any <coughs> it want we create any new object so only existing object will be use here so this is called immutable sorry mutable mutable means immutable means then what happened one if you are same if you are doing same like uh, if you are uh, storing same value okay you are not doing any modification at that time only existing you know existing object is uh, used but if you will try to change this then what happen yeah okay just i uh, have to print this print up okay now so let's try with this code the mutable we have a list is changing any value then existing object will be created so let's see here okay we'll execute all, all this stuff okay so now <coughs> i will comment this okay happening here now you can see i took one list okay this is the list i am i am going to print id so now what it will print it will print this id of this list okay so now and then what i have to i am going to do i am going to use this append append means it will add one value okay so now append means i am modifying this list if i am going to modify now after that i am going to print this if i will print this 30, 10 20 30 40 okay now it is 10 20 30 so here appended but if i will again i will display the id of this list so what is the value will come same value will come because the only one object we are using here without modifying same id is there after modifying same id is there. So, list is mutable. Mutable means <coughs> now again I remove this value. Okay. After removing this, I am going to print this. Okay. So what again I am going to print after removing ID of this. So if I will you know, modify, this, we have removed this value. But every ID is same. before no modification appending this value and again append uh, removing this value but id of list is same so what is the meaning of this because the meaning of this if you are modifying anything in the existing list so what happen only you know one object is created inside this object all operation will happen so again what i am going to do i am going to store true value inside this 
index one again i'm going to print okay so after that again i'm going to print the id so again what i have to do i will just again what you have to do just you can see every time same id is coming right so this behavior is called mutable so list we have a concept called nested list okay so it is nothing but by using the list of object in the other list so let's see what is the meaning of nested list okay so <coughs> we are using this python cell but okay no problem just i will use in this python cell here. again modify this so we have a list one and again i took list 2 okay list 1 and list 2 this is the list 1 and what i am going to do here again i took this all the list again i am going to take another list lst inside this lst i have this l1 and l2 okay inside this lst we have a store l1 this L1 in this L1 and L2. Now I'm going to LST. You can see this L1 and L2. I have a store in the list LST inside this LST. I want to delete LST. If I will use del function, then what happened? I want to delete LST. You can see after deleting this LST. Now I am going to check LST if there are not. It is not there because it is completely deleted. Okay. <coughs> it is completely deleted. Again, again I am going to take this LST. Okay. I should not use this del function. Because we are not able to see this. Let's see. Uh, okay. LST. LST. Okay, now you can see this list. I have a store L1 and L2. You can see the list inside this list. This is called nested list. Okay, now if I will print LST of 0, I will become 100, right? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. Okay, so list is working on the index. So we are getting this 100. Okay, I am going to print LST of 1. So, LST of 1 means what is the value will come? This. Because this is the <coughs> this is the list 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, right? Again, LST 3. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, LST of 3. So, LST of 3, the value will come here. What is the length of L1? Okay, so what is the length of L1? So we have a length of LST1. So it's coming 3. So what is the meaning of this? So 0, 1, 2, 3. So sorry, 0, 1. So the length is 3. Okay. Length of count LST3 dot count. Okay, so we'll use count of 1. So the what is the use of count it will count the you know number of occurrence which is available inside this list so 0 1 2 3 how many one is available inside this 3 in this 3 uh, index of the list so how many uh, one is available so you can see the one is available two times so why it is two times two is also considered as a one so one more one is there okay how we are using this count function this so lst of one we are checking the index lst one we are checking the index so you can see lst one zero no where it is zero one so here what is how many a is there means which index 
is the 0 1 0 1 2 so this index is a is present the index of 2 so that's have extended this extended means we are you know adding this so let's see what happened when so we are adding this value so list of three so list of three means what is the index zero, one, two, three. so we are performing this operation here in this list okay because the index i have list of three i have in this one right zero one two three so now then what is the value is coming you can see it's 1 to 3 is added before it is true false 1 0 true false 1 0 but again I extended 3 value at this index 3 ok so this is your thing I want to insert this list of 1 so how to insert the list of 1 so list of where is this 0 1 2 so I am going to insert here okay, so now if I will LST then what is the value will come you can see here 0 1 so here <coughs> LST is you know uh, insert ok 0 1 ok LST here mm, 2 is added here right before 2 is not there right in place of 1 we have inserted 2 value in place of 1 we have inserted 2 value here 0 1 2 3 so here a 1 1 we have inserted 2 ok before 0 1 20 is there now after inserting 2 is there so how this nested list is working so here List concept is over very important concept so next concept is called double <coughs> between tuple and list so what is the difference between tuple and list a tuple in a python is a collection that cannot be multiplied what we are doing in the list <coughs> is mutable this value or object in project inside the list but in tuple we cannot modify this object so this is the main difference between list and tuple so tuple is collection on that cannot be modified a tuple is defined using this parenthesis second difference is tuple is you know if you are creating the tuple then we have to you know it is work it will create it as a parenthesis so in the list we have a parenthesis such a difference tuple is a we cannot modify means it is a immutable we cannot change this value we cannot modify list is a mutable means we can modify list you know if you are creating a list we so we have a square braces in tuple we have a parenthesis so two difference of tuple is a container which hold a series of comma separated value or item or element between the parenthesis such as in x y like that this tuple is you know a stored x y coordinate tuple are like exactly like list but you can see it is a mu immutable immutable means we cannot modify we cannot change tuple is exactly same as a list except <coughs> that it is a immutable so once we create a tuple we cannot perform any changes in the object so some requirement is there in project you have uh, given this change this value then we, we should go for tuple so hence tuple is read only version of list
<coughs> because we cannot modify this tuple so that is called tuple is read only version of list so if our data is an exchange i told you na we have a some requirement if you have given this value and you should not change in the future nobody is able to change this then we should go for tuple if our data is fixed and never changes then we should go for features so insertion order is preserved duplicates are allowed in this tuple heterogeneous objects are allowed we can preserve the order and we can differentiate object by using this index okay we can do this hence index will play a very important role in the tuple so it is working on the index also so tuple support both positive and negative index means forward and backward axis means left and right negative index means backward direction and positive index means forward direction so from right to left tuple support both forward and backward direction so forward direct forward index is a start So tuple allow one or more duplicates element. So duplicates are allow allow for the tuple. Tuple support both concatenation, concatenation and multiplication. So we can perform the, the both operation. We can represent the tuple element element with parentheses and with separated comma parentheses are optional but not recommended to but recommended to use. So what is the meaning of this? when we are when we are using this okay so let's come with the example now. so when we are using this okay so you can see this is there okay so now i am not using okay four okay so i commented this so now if i will execute this so you can see what the value is coming in valid syntax sorry okay i am not using this okay so i am giving this a space if i will run this you can see this is the invalid syntax because it is not you know valid but if you use this you know comma and now i am going to print this so if i will execute this you can see the value is coming as a tuple okay so you can see the tuple means it is starting from parenthesis and you can see we have a comma for every element you can see the type is tuple okay so how this tuple you can create in one way you can create in one way so i have comma 1254 okay and i have printed this so that's why i have mentioned here we can present tuple element with parenthesis we can use directly here parenthesis also but you know and with comma separated the parenthesis are optional so these are the optional okay but recommended to use you can use this no problem at all if it will start from comma it is called tuple so you can see output is coming tuple it is empty tuple so it is possible can we create the empty tuple yes we can create the empty tuple as well so if i will use this empty tuple it is possible or not they can ask in the interview yes this is possible empty tuple we can create if i am going to Come and run this so you can see. Okay, <coughs> so we have to take the special care about the single value in the tuple. So what happens? Compulsory, the value should end with comma. Otherwise, it will not recommend to use. What is the meaning of this? If <coughs> I am not using this comma here. 
okay so i took this single value you can see in the tuple i took this single value 100 now i'm going to print i'm going to check this type of this t so now if i will compile this then what happens we are going to be there what the is there but type is not coming tuple type is coming in the type why it is coming in the type i have written in the we have to take care of a special care take care of single value here we are providing the single value okay so if you are using the single value that compulsory the value should end with comma if you will not use here comma then what happens it will you know the value will take as a int type not a tuple type so if you are not using comma when you are using the single value <coughs> otherwise it is not treated as a tuple so that's why it is coming the int type now i have used here comma i have given this comma so if I will compile this, run this, sorry. So you can see before it is coming in the type. Now it is double type. The conclusion is when we are using single element, a single value in the tuple, it is mandatory to provide you know single quotes. Sorry, single com. Otherwise it is not considered as a You can create like that also. Okay. So create. So this is how to create a tuple. So you can see we can create by using this parenthesis also. Create creation of multiple value tuple and parentheses are optional so you can use the parentheses if you are not using it will also consider a tuple so tuple you can by using this tuple function you can create this tuple. so when we can use so how to create a tuple so we have uh, multiple way to create a tuple so if you can see i took as a list and i am printing Again, this list convert into the tuple, so we have a tuple function, will function, list variable, and just will go to you know execute this. If I will execute this, you can see before it was list. So another way to create a tuple by using this tuple function. Okay accessing element of the tuple so we can access either by the index or slicing operator right so slicing operator we have already discussed right <coughs> in list the same concept just go through this you know slicing concept with the list and a string and just try to apply with this tuple also same how to access this element so by using by using this index we can access this okay so now what i am going to do if i will you know okay we have a so how we are going to access this so we have a zero and minus one so zero is four and minus one is four okay so now how to access this tuple if I am using this uh, index of 10, so what happens? It will get right by tuple. So we will get index or a tuple index sort of range because 10 uh, value 
or yeah object is not present in this table so that's why we are getting this okay so by using slicing so slicing we will try to do to how to do this slicing method go through this list or a string and just apply on this okay slicing <coughs> no so tuple vs immutability okay so what happened i told you not tuple is immutable immutable means we cannot change the uh, object so once we create a tuple we cannot change and its content okay so when i am going to try to change this tuple then what happened <coughs> so when we, we are writing the queue to change this i want to change this is the tuple object i want to change this index okay so i am going to try to change this index and what happens if i will run this then if i will run this then we are getting the type tuple object item assignment so this is called immutable immutable means we can not change this value okay okay so next i will start from next weekend okay so what you have to do whatever i choose to the practice